is that what you're doing, Madison? Yes! The reputation of uh, Madison being a party school um, it is just as deserved, I hate to say it, today as it was back 20, 25 years ago. And a lot of that stems back to not just the University of Wisconsin-Madison and its reputation, but it really gets more at our culture of alcohol in the state of Wisconsin. Hey baby, you get to keep going to your mess. Cheers, mate. It starts in the state capitol, it is throughout our culture in Wisconsin, but you have licensed establishments, many of them in communities all across the state. And it's really how we even, starting in the families in Wisconsin, be it northern Wisconsin or in the inner city of Milwaukee, and how we um, kind of accept and use a lot of alcohol in our lifestyles. Subsequently, what the Madison Police Department often ends up dealing with is young adults at 18, 19, 20 year olds, some who started drinking in high school, now they come here unsupervised away from their families and they have to learn the trial and error process of growing up in an alcohol or el or an environment where alcohol is readily available. <clears throat> Yes. Okay, can I say another piece? You know why we're here, obviously? Yes. Okay. And a lot of kids, unfortunately, have events happen to them and they suffer consequences that, in some cases, change the course of their lives or, in a few rare situations, actually will take a life. I went here because of the prestige and the fact that I had good grades. I want to go to a great college. But, I mean, it's definitely a good time to go here. And everyone loves it here. I mean, football games are a blast. Mifflin's a blast. Halloween's a blast. But I think that's what sets us apart. I don't think that we drink more than any other school. I think we have, like, organized drinking events, I guess. It's, it's like a cultural thing, I guess. Like, up in, uh, up in Minneapolis, they don't, like, their parents didn't grow up as drinkers, so their kids are huge drinkers. So. The Centers for Disease Control says five drinks on any occasion would be considered binge drinking. Well, it's pretty typical for a Friday or Saturday night in uh, downtown Madison. 1603. Um, we're in Bill's Key Shop. Two guys passed out behind the wheel of this car. Howdy. What's up, man? We, we, we will take people to detox and say, well, it's a rite of passage. When you come to Wisconsin, you've got to go to detox at least once in your four years here. We fill detox every Badger home game. That's 30 beds. We'll probably take 10 or 15 to the hospital. They're too drunk to go to detox. They're worried about them dying. If you were a Mormon, you wouldn't pick to go to school here. Last call, last call for alcohol. If you're upstairs, good luck getting a drink.